This is the entire evolution of Fortnite skins from chapter 1 season 1 until now. Follow along to see which ones you have. But starting off with the first ever skins in Fortnite, we have the Ghoul Trooper, School Trooper and the Renegade. These were in the first ever item shop to release, with Renegade being in the daily items and School Trooper, Ghoul Trooper was in the weekly items. So they stayed there for kind of a while. And players who actually bought any of these two skins would have received OG edit styles, which is the Purple School trooper and the pink gold trooper which are both really rare as of today but also in season one we did get the season shop which featured two of the most iconic skins in the game aerial assault trooper and the renegade raider but what makes these more rare compared to gold trooper and school trooper is that you actually had to level up in order to purchase them you couldn't just buy them straight away most of these skins that released early on was actually from save the world and a lot of people thought the renegade raider was going to make a return because in chapter one season eight fortnite granted owners of the skin the checkered edit style which was kind of random and season two was when we got the first ever battle pass which included the knights blue squire and royal knight sparkle specialist and for tier 70 which was the max tier back then was the black knight very iconic skin as well and the royal knight was so iconic she did get a reskin for fortnite og season which was the spectra knight subscribe if you did manage to get her also in season two we got our first playstation plus pack which was the blue team leader this was a reskin of a season one skin recon specialist and it gained a lot of popularity because it was a playstation only skin but it's not quite as rare as something's coming up the chapter one season three battle pass was also quite iconic we got the reaper as the first ever tier 100 skin and so many people called this john wick because he kind of looks like him especially with the suit and six seasons later in chapter one season nine we actually got an official John Wick collaboration and in the promo trailer Fortnite even included the Reaper to show respect to everyone who called the skin John Wick. That's a super cool easter egg but more importantly in that season we did get the first ever starter pack Rogue Agent which is the male counterpart to the Elite Agent from the Battle Pass. Since then we've had a new starter pack every season but Fortnite also made a mistake because they released him into the item shop and people weren't happy about that so they've never done it again since since. Some people do consider this a rare skin. I wouldn't really say it is, but it does have a lot of history within Fortnite. Moving on to the chapter one season four battle pass, this was so important because it's when we first got progression edit styles from the carbide skin and also the classic Omega, which is such an iconic skin. Fortnite did reskin him, which is the Omega Knight. It's considered pretty impressive if you have the OG maxed out Omega with the purple lights as well. But since this season, we pretty much always got progression edit styles then in chapter one season four we also got our first ever console exclusive which was the royal bomber now back then the only way to get this was by buying a console or a controller but this was technically the first exclusive skin in the game as blue team leader was only a pack and it was easily accessible royal bomber wasn't that popular when it released but it was the start of fortnite exclusive skins and after that we did get the e on skin for xbox double helix for nintendo switch and in chapter one season five we got the first samsung skin galaxy this is where the true hype begun for exclusive skins people was going into their local stores trying to claim the skin on one of the display phones everyone was trying to get galaxy people were spending up to a thousand dollars on a phone just to get this and now you don't really see it used it's pretty rare chapter one season six was the season of the cube the battle pass had some iconic skins but we also got the dark bomber which when it released it was rare rarity but now it's dark series so technically it was the first ever dark series skin in the game since then fortnite released more but even an exclusive one dark scully it was also fortnite mare so we got a bunch of new skins this season which became future classics moving on to chapter one season seven there were some extremely classic skins this season like lynx the ice king and even sergeant winter but not only that this season we did get another mobile phone exclusive which was the honor guard a little bit different compared to galaxy you had to get a code for this one you could find them pretty easily and a lot of people did get the skin but because honor guard looks cool it definitely created a lot of buzz just like galaxy did but in the same season we got our first ever concert skin which was the marshmallow oh and let's not forget that the fish stick did release in chapter one season 
season seven as well. And it was so popular, we've had so many different versions of fish stick. Some of them even been in the battle pass, so they're pretty cool to own. But chapter one, season eight, there was a lot of things going on. I mean, the battle pass was literally free, but not only that, it was when we first got introduced to the Peely skin and also Peely as a character too. Since then, Peely has pretty much been the face of Fortnite, but it's crazy that if you didn't play in chapter one, season eight, you can't get the original Peely. So hopefully they bring it back. The Black Widow outfit was the first Marvel skin to hit the item shop. This also released in Chapter 1 Season 8. She became a very rare skin, but did eventually make a return. Then the people who bought a code for the Reflex skin did actually receive the Stealth Reflex Red and Black variant because Fortnite decided to bring the green one into the item shop. And let's not forget, Season 8 also had the iconic skin release with the Scenario Emote, one of the best emotes in the entire game. Season Season 9 was another stacked season for skins. We got the John Wick collaboration, the Dark Vertex Xbox exclusive, the Wonder skin from the Honor phone, Neo Versa from PlayStation. Also, we got the Stranger Things skins and the World Cup Warrior. So season 9 was definitely stacked, but so was season X. It was a big season for the storyline, so we got the Scientist skin and also the Paradigm, which was limited time. Not only that, the Glow skin released in season X, the final Samsung skin and another big collaboration happened which was Borderlands and that's when we got the Psycho Bandit skin. Chapter 2 then came along where we got our first creator icon skin which was Ninja, some free skins from Winterfest but also that's when Brilliant Bomber was added to the files. She's a reskin of the Bright Bomber but she's never officially released. Until this day Fortnite still teased the skin. On to Chapter 2 Season 2 that's when we first got Midas, Meowsel, Sky. Pretty much this entire battle pass was kind of iconic in the game and let's not forget we also got deadpool that season a classic marvel skin that's for sure and then we got travis scott as well one of the most wanted skins to exist in the entire game right now people are always asking for travis scott to return and nobody knows if he ever will chapter 2 season 3 came around and we got our first ever dc battle pass skin which of course was aquaman and it was also the season we got the renegade Raider reskin Blaze. Subscribe if you have her, by the way. In the same season, we did get the whole Apple lawsuit going on, and therefore the Tart Tycoon skin was released in a cup. You only had to get eight points to unlock the skin, but not everyone has it. I mean, I hardly see it. Chapter 2 Season 4 was pretty stacked, though. I mean, that was the Marvel season where we got all of the Marvel skins in the Battle Pass. It was the season the superhero skins released, but also the Last Laugh bundle with the Joker, Poison Ivy and Midas Rex. We also got a brand new Nintendo skin, which was the Wildcat, and the Samurai Scrapper pack, which became rare. But in Chapter 2 Season 5, we got our first ever Star Wars Battle Pass skin, the Mandalorian, and also our first ever Fortnite Crew skin, which was the Galaxia. Let's not forget the big collaborations that happened this season, which was Kratos and also Master Chief. Plus, in the Battle Pass, we also had the Predator as a secret skin. Chapter 2 Season 6 came along, and we got Lara Croft, one of the most popular collab skins in the game and also Neymar Jr. as the secret skin. In the item shop though, we did get our first FNCS limited time skin, which will never make a return. And the following battle pass in season seven, we got Rick Sanchez, which was a very big deal because a lot of people are fans of Rick and Morty. Then there was a few icon series skins, LeBron James, Booga and Ariana Grande, as well as the Ferrari collab. But let's not forget, we also got Clark Kent Superman. So season seven was stacked. Chapter 2 Season 8, we did get Carnage in the Battle Pass, the Janky Skin, Eddie Brock, and also the Dune collab, but more importantly, Shadow Midas. Chapter 3 came along with one of the biggest collaborations ever, Spider-Man. And then in the item shop, we got the No Way Home skins, with Boba Fett releasing on Christmas as well. But that was the season that we got level up quest packs, starting it off with the Monarch skin. Although it's not quite as iconic as the Chapter 3 Season 2 Battle Pass, because we got 
got Doctor Strange in this one. And in the item shop this season, we got the Coachella collaboration. Chica joined the icons and so did Ali A as well. And if you're a Star Wars fan, you probably liked the Chapter 3 Season 3 Battle Pass because that's when we got Darth Vader. And for Marvel fans, we also got Spider-Man Zero this season. Indiana Jones was the secret skin within the Battle Pass. John Cena came to the item shop. The Dragon Ball skins came to the item shop. And Patrick Mahomes joined the Icon series as well. So this was a huge season for collaborations. But they didn't stop there because in Chapter 3 Season 4, we got Spider-Gwen in the Battle Pass. Cypher PK finally joined the Icon series as well. Iron Man Zero came to the shop. And there was even more Rick and Morty skins. Chapter 4 then came where we got the Hulk skin. Some free skins for Winterfest. Mr. Beast made his way to the Icon series. And there was more collabs like All Might, Giannis, and even the Kid Leroy. And for Chapter 4 Season 2, that's when we got more Star Wars skins. Such as Darth Maul, Anakin Skywalker, and Padme as well. And then after that, we got Goku Black and the Spider-Man skins. But within Season 3's Battle Pass, we got Optimus Prime. Future Armor skins hit the item shop. And so did the Terminator. So another pretty stacked season. But then in Season 4, Carby LeMay was in the Battle Pass. And there was a new J Balvin Icon Series skin that released. Plus, we got Michael Myers in Fortnite and Jack Skeleton. Then the Fortnite OG season released and we got a bunch of reskins of OG skins. But also, we got Lewis Hamilton in the item shop and the M&M skins. So, Fortnite OG was great. For Chapter 5, we got Peter Griffin, The Weeknd, TMNT, Solid Snake and Lady Gaga all in one season. So, basically, anything is possible in Fortnite. But make sure I subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.